How's it going guys? Quick video with my uh, B-Series swap here. Uh, I got a few questions on the distributor. So as you know, the world is in shutdown mode. Parts are not being delivered, but I want a race car. So I'm using my D-Series intake tube for my Y8 I had. And a few of you people noticed, there's a bit of touchy-touchy going on. And that's because I'm using a D-Series intake with a CRV distributor on my B16A2. Now, obviously I'd recommend getting the correct parts. Uh, they're gonna be a lot stronger, more reliable, that's for sure. So when we're doing something like this with our CRV distributor, you have three mounting points usually. And so we use this top one with the B16A2. We got our VTEC, so you have to cut off the bottom tab here on the right. So it's not contacting the uh, solenoid. And we do only have one bolt holding it on right now. Uh, it does work. And any B-series distributor is in theory the same. So uh, the big differences are the VTEC and I believe GSR have slightly larger captain rotors, but everything else on the inside is pretty much the same and uh, swaps over. D-series is not the same, will not work. I'm sure you can make it work like this, but I just went to a junkyard and Harvested it for uh, CRV parts. So on the rear, obviously it doesn't line up, so not super concerned. The only other issue you have is with an OBD2, there's gonna be two styles of plug. It's gonna be a 10 pin, and then there's an eight pin as well. You can convert the two. The only difference really is the 10 pin will have this blue wire. And if you did a B series swap and you do not have a tack, super easy, you tie into the plug coming out of the distributor and you can run a wire from this blue one, the dark blue, over here to a little jumper plug it usually has. And again, it's that single blue wire. So just to get it running, I just ran a wire from this plug over to the distributor and your tack will work perfectly, pretty straightforward. Just cut that tab, I ground it smooth. You can do this in the long run, but obviously I'm using it for temp temporary, obviously. But it works, got me running, got me driving, can be done, uh, should work. Any B-series distributor uh, should be the same, OBD2 is at least. You can buy harnesses for like 20 bucks to convert it, but I mean, super easy to do yourself. Tons of uh, pinouts online, and it's basically one wire. The rest are just matching up. There are some that are multiple different color options, so uh, just keep an eye out for that. But they will make sense. And even though this is a 10 pin, there are only uh, nine wires. And uh, that blue one is the only one extra. So other than that, you're just matching them up. Pretty straightforward, easy to do. Hope this helps you guys out. Quick video for you. Get